Welcome to my channel collective. This portion of the channel is called From Within, Divine Feminine. Here I will be diving deep into the depths of spirituality, what it means, who we are, our practices, and so on. There's so much information and downloads that I receive on a daily basis. I've been trying to figure out how to properly deliver the information without causing any further harm to myself or humanity. I have reached a level of ascension now where I am ready to speak in the 3D realm that is. If you know, then you know. I only ask that you be patient with me for this is a lot of information to intake, but also a lot of information to put out. With that being said, let's dive in. What's up, family? So welcome back to From Within Divine Feminine. So the topic for today it is turning pain into power. Now, I would say this is a touchy subject, but I don't think so much. I just more so believe that it is underrated. It is it is not um, understood for what it should be or taken for what it should be um, taken for. First of all, let me get rid of this gum because it's not working. Okay. So yeah, turning pain into power. A lot of people make this statement looking for um <sighs> Okay, so I'm not going to say looking for. Let's just say before you turn that pain into power, first transmute the energy into positivity. This simply means sit with the power. I mean, sit with the pain, understand where the pain is rooted. Um embrace the pain and then release the pain once you release the pain you can then transmute um transmute or or put this pain into your investments or your creations or your inventions um i i simply say this because if you just turn that pain into power right um, you just simply go from pain. Like what I've noticed over the years, um, what, what I've what I've come to conclude now in my journey as I analyze and I put together the pieces of reality, I have come to realize that if you notice when people create, right? Like for instance, singers, since you know music, it is a powerful tool. Um, the universe listens to the music. Uh, it, it 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 moves with the flow of the music and so this is one of the most powerful um manifestation tools that there is and like i'm gonna just use a couple of artists for example um first i want to start with keisha cole and don't don't please don't take any out of context don't take anything that i'm saying out of context because everybody that I, I love everybody and i love me some keisha cole baby listen okay Ooh, like yeah that's 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 bae but if you if you okay she, for her for example right if you listen to a lot of her music it is um it is generated and it is um written, you can tell that it is written out of pain um it's from a lot of heartache from men um a lot of disloyal or deceit every time someone hurts her she write a song about it you know and she sings it out to the universe now this is where manifestation comes into play at is because if you are if you if you're putting your pain into this power and you have not you you have not transmuted the energy you're the only thing that you're doing is calling that negative energy back to you it's like recycling it back into the universe it's like um giving your power to the energy that has already deceived you you're giving it power to not only to return to you but to multiply to uh to double up like okay and i i what what i noticed that recently um just 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 like a heads up because 
like if it, for example if she was to take that that energy that mood and write a song now you write this song you speak about your pain but you also speak about what it is that you want because it's like you have to mix the energy you have to mix it together and um so that you are uh counteracting your pain so to speak um counteracting your pain and calling in what it is that you don't want saying that you're tired of this but you are calling in this this is what you're accepting and this is what you are no longer accepting um i hope that's making sense um because like listening to a lot of Keisha Cole songs over the years, um, especially as a young girl, you know, um, listening to a lot of that music, I noticed that I was singing it, uh, singing along with it. And it was drawing in the same kind of energy that Keisha Cole was drawing into herself. It was drawing in the same kind of energy that that she was singing about. Um, and this is just from my observation. Um, so this is why like right now in in my evolution i've chose to it's certain music i just choose not to listen to i don't care if i was i loved the song back in the day or if i listened to it a lot over the years it's not a i love their um the artists i love their creations it's just the energy um i don't want that energy transference to stick to me i don't want the energy that they may have been living in when they created these um, when they created these songs i don't want that energy to apply itself or stick itself to me and so i choose not to listen to a lot of them um it's a lot of different artists but you know i'm just not going to that's like if i'm out I'm, like i like to go to the um they i'm I'm here in florida so they have a lot of r&b um clubs you know they only play r&b music you know and it's a nice vibe it is because i love r&b like i am a music lover at heart and so they they play a lot of songs you know a lot of old school songs and you'll catch me singing the song but when it comes to saying certain words or certain sentences or certain parts of the song you just won't catch me saying you'll catch me real quick shutting my mouth and shutting the fuck up because i know what words are i know how the universe reacts to words i know how um words are spells and a lot of time people don't notice that they're casting spells upon themselves and then they they want to say that someone else is doing the magic on them or someone else has done this or someone but most of the time it is your own it is your own energy that you are um attacking yourself with that's why when i lay down at night i make sure i say my prayers um you know father god forgive me of all of my sins um i repent all of my sins both known and unknown because this covers me and and harming myself and and other people harming me just like if i unknowingly said something that could possibly come back and harm me i've covered myself in that you know and so this is what prayer is prayer is very important and um i don't want to get off topic but yeah so i love me some keisha you know i love me some mary J. you know i love all of these artists but i am just aware of you know the things that come along with following people you have to be mindful of who it is that you choose to follow because yeah they may not be aware enough to know that they are projecting that energy onto you onto you they may not be aware enough to know that they're projecting their own energy back to them so you think that you're releasing this and it makes you feel good to release this yes but the way in which you are releasing it and how you have to pay attention to the way in which you release because you are releasing it unto the universe and the universe it will answer unto that and so it's, it's very important you know to you know pay attention to what it is that you speak um another one for example this is a more recent artist um what is his name rod wave and i love his music because it, it, it speaks on what he's going through it speaks on the things that is inside of his head that he's dealing with that he's putting onto paper and that he is um releasing but you have to understand like why do you think it's so many kids out here who are 
mirroring his energy because that pain, this is a deep, deep, deep pain that is rooted deep down inside of that young man. Like all this demon talk and all these dark talks. And last year, my sister showed me this, um, this concert, you know, and he talked about suicide a lot in his music and he had an, an a, a, a concert to where he got up on the stage on the side of the thing o- over the ramp and he jumped off as if he was c- committing suicide and this really hit home for me and when she told me she was taking my nephew to see it it, it was like I, I really like I wanted to you know express myself and and how I felt about it but I know how she is and so I kind of just kept it to myself because I don't want to tell people how to do anything and I don't want you know to be the the bearer of bad news or i don't want to be the person to to feel like i'm a party pooper or whatever the case is however people think and however people feel that's fine but you know i love my nephews enough to know that that is not something healthy for them to be watching that's not entertainment that is not entertainment. These are things that are being soaked in by a young child. And so these things is being made to be cool. What if he feels like, oh, he wants to go do, oh, oh, it ain't hurt. It ain't hurt him. So it's not going to hurt me. And then he goes to try it and that shit fucking kills him. You know, see people, people, people need to learn how to think that far. It's that, it's that deep. It's just that deep because yeah, that's his energy. That's what he's going through, but that is what he is showing the world. This is what entertainment is. Is it really entertaining you or is it really, um, 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 what is the word I'm looking for? Is it really entertaining you or is is it really, um, giving you shit? I cannot think of what I'm trying to say at the moment. Oh God it's not healthy it's not healthy to watch it's not healthy to intake for one it's definitely not healthy for an adult to watch it and to and to be entertained by it but when it comes to a young mind when it comes to a young soul it's even worse for them because they're like sponges our minds are way more developed to understand to understand that that he he may be having you know and this is only a, a small bit few of us who are aware enough to know that he is mentally fucking disturbed. Okay, yeah, but then when you say that to certain people, they're like, oh, there's nothing wrong with him. It's just his music. It's just his this. No, that is inside of him. This is what he is bringing from the inside of him to the outside of him. This is what he is expressing, what he is going through. This is his reality, you know? And not to say that he might be mentally disturbed, but he may actually be in a dark place. And my heart goes out to him. I'm not like I I used to listen to his music right before I took a deep dive into my um my dark night of the soul I had started listening to him and let me tell you something this is when I knew how fucking powerful I was because the more I sung his songs and the more I I lived that I tried was bringing that right I was calling that into my reality the more it started to manifest into my reality now that I'm sitting here talking about it and I'm thinking about it right before months before I took my deep dive, I had just discovered who Rod Wave was and I had just started listening to his, what song was that? Um, I, I can't think of it at the moment, but this was 2000. If, if you are a music listener, this is around 2020, um, the end of 2019, the beginning of 2020, he had, he, I had just become aware of who he was and I had started to listening to, I think it was something about sh- dark shadows, some shit over the head or some shit like that. And I, I was really banging it. Like I was really, really banging it like in my car, like, ba- like loud banging it. And I was calling that shit into my reality and I had to realize well I didn't realize it then but I didn't as I'm speaking about it now this is when I this is when I took that deep dive this is when I called in those dark that's what it's called it's called dark clouds that's when I called in those fucking dark clouds over my reality over my being and I started to call in all of this fucking darkness and I took a deep fucking dive into hell like really really like it's really like that and you wouldn't understand that if you if you if you, unless you you have to actually be a person of power to understand that what power is like you have to be aware of what it is that you are intaking what you are listening to and this even comes to tarot like i just got into the tarot world but 
no, I, I ain't going to say just, but it's been, it's been about two or three years now. And I, um, I had to start to weed out those, that too, what's good and what's not good. Because there are people who, 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 who are readers. They, when it comes to reading cards, nine times out of 10, you're reading your own energy. You're eating, you're reading the energy that is connected to you. That is your soul tribe. You're reading that energy. And so you, you can project like a lot of people who speak about karmic relationships and pain and hurt and spells and all of that. These are people who actually live these things and so they put it inside of their readings in their creations and they project it out into the world and then whoever catches hold to it now that energy is attached to them and now you're carrying that same energy this is what it means to be powerful this is what it means to transmute energy so when when, when you are creating for all of my creators out there who are listening who have tuned in who have found their way to me I need you to understand that first you need to turn that pain into positivity sit with it embrace it um um acknowledge it uh it, 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 like put it together and try to figure out what it is that hurt you why did it hurt you why did you let it hurt you and then release it release it into the universe you know there's serenity ask for serenity be serene in what it is that you do okay so you know i got to calm back down let me bring it back down a notch <laughs> but this subject means a lot to me because if you if you have been following my journey spiritually and to be honest with you almost everybody in the world is following my journey spiritually but when it comes to on the actual physical realm and you have come across my channels um my 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 facebooks or my instagrams or you know any of my platforms and you 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 come into contact and you 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 catch along and you and you drift along my journey you will be amazed at my creations because they do not i mean you can tell that it it is um it is a part of it, it is a story of my journey but it is not um something to where i'm trying i don't want to pro project fear 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 i don't like the energy of fear i will never sit in the energy of fear so i don't want to project that energy into my audience or into the people that choose to follow me no i want to um i'm projecting courage i am projecting um faith i am projecting um um determination like I'm, I'm i just want to show you the way and and i'm trying to reverse what has been done to society because we um we as a people we have to we have to be more aware of you know the things that we are creating the energy that we are projecting like it's an energy game like the game of life, the game of chess, this whole reality, the matrix, it is an energy game. It's all about energy. Um, everything, it's all about energy. Even Trump knows that. The first thing, when, before I even knew who Trump was, I was with my mom. And you know, she's like a real big Trump whoop to do And... The first thing that she showed me um, to kind of catch my attention when it came to Trump, it was a statement that he made about energy. And I was like, oh, okay, okay, so he might know some, you know, but as I started to pay attention, I just kind of, I don't like to get into the whole politics things because they're more confused than they even realize they are. So I just don't like to get, like when it comes to certain things, I stay out of the way because I'm, I'm not about to play this game, which all about energy, because it's, it's even that is energy manipulation they're, they're 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 trying to manipulate the energy to get you on their side or then you got the other party trying to manipulate the energy and it's all about the things that they say they say things that they they know certain people will attach to like myself for instance my mom what i know about my mom she does certain things like my mom is very awakened um i don't really know about aware and if you know me you know how i feel about being awakened and being aware is two different type of energy she's awake yes so therefore she specifically do she do things i don't know if it's unconscious i think it's really unconscious um unconsciously does things to then again it may not be but to catch my attention and 
she does things to catch my attention. And once it catches my attention, you know, that was the whole game. That was the whole plan to get me to attach myself to whatever this is that you brought to my attention. This is how it goes. This is what TV is about. This is what television is about. This is what entertainment is about. This is what um, creations are about. This is what it is in the reality. This is the reality. It is energy. Everything is energy. Um, you just have to be aware. And that's like when I woke up this morning, okay, it's a Sunday morning. Usually on Sunday mornings before I get, well, every morning before I get out of bed, I lay there and I meditate. I speak to the gods. I speak to the universe. You know, I let them talk to me, tell me things. And I find myself when I come out of my resting state and my, my, my soul returns back to my vessel, it, it, it speaks. And so it usually speaks on, um, It's like a whole big speech thing. I don't know. My soul, it does what it wants. (laughs) It really, really does what it wants. And I am aware of it. I I am in tune with my higher self, with my soul. And so I listen to her, him, them, they. And it's, it's, um, it gets, it gets interesting. I I lay there and I listen to them talk and I know that they're not only talking to me, they're talking to the world. And so, um, it's it's a Sunday Sunday mornings it has it, it it has become a thing um it like my soul it usually gives me you know a little bit of a break um during the week because I do a lot um I work a nine to five I have multiple platforms and so um it has backed off of me a little bit more so than what it was when I first started to awaken when I first started to awaken it was like non-stop clockwork it was up 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 talking 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 preaching 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 like it was just on its own doing its thing and I was okay with that because I was not only gaining knowledge but I know that my soul was releasing knowledge into the world and so I just laid and just let it do what it does and um I am proud to say that (laughs) I have reached a stage in my evolution to where my soul it it has now calmed um we have reached a a certain level of um enlightenment to the world it has done it has done its job and so now it only really like really 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 speaks on Sundays and that sometimes um so like I said this morning I woke up um and I was laying there and I noticed that it was speaking and so it was speaking about um pretty much this topic this 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 subject here I didn't even know what subject what topic I was going to do today I have to really like go through my notebook and pick a topic because I just I write topics down and then you know I just leave it and come back and choose so before I even knew what the topic was going to be today I woke up this morning and this was the topic it was about the higher self and the lower self it was about um being aware of the energy that is around you um because people like myself um who are clairvoyant clairaudient clairsentient um people like myself who can hear between worlds who can hear um from the spiritual and who can also hear from the underworld and who can also hear here in the matrix in the in-between world um it's a lot of things that you hear and so it's very important for you to um be able to 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 decipher and and discern what it is that you hear because you hear a lot of things and um you don't want to 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 be okay so my my higher self I don't know for some reason it was speaking to my counterpart my twin flame my my love um because of something recently and um we communicate a lot um in the spiritual realm I don't know if he realizes it or not but I do um and I don't know if he was going through something, but my soul started to speak unto him. And it um, that is what it was talking about, because you may be aware you, you may be aware of the things that you hear here in the in between. Like there are a lot of people who 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 are um aware of the things of 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 other people's thoughts like the person next to you like you can hear or you can know or your intuition tells you how they're feeling this is this is you reading their energy so a lot of people are aware of this that that 
that basicness of hearing, but there's way more deeper things than what's here on this physical realm in this in-between realm. Now, I say that because the underworld, yeah, they're under there, but they have the power to project. And so this is what it means to be possessed. You know how, um, a lot of people speak about possession or being, um, taken over like um by by demons this is an energy it's not like something just came up and uh, uh, uh. no this is something that is being projected from up under us it's it's mind control it's someone using to control your energy so it's them using their energy to control your energy and they 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 um they talk to you they tell you things they 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 try to manipulate your movements and how you move what the things that you do how you feel so it's very important to pay attention to these things because they are real they are in our reality and they are here and in and not to even like give them too much power because you know it, it's it's your power it's about being aware of your power don't let someone take your pain and make you put it into your 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 what it is that you choose to manifest or create because these things um you 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 it, it then makes you more it, it makes your energy and your soul responsible for the people that choose to follow you so not only are you going to have your baggage and your karma but the people that you are taking with you to hell you you're going to be held accountable for that you're going to be held responsible for that energy because you it's your energy that is manipulating them that is leading them so if you are chosen to be a leader, if you are a person of creations, a creator, if you are a person of power, of, of inventing, you have to start to be more aware of what it is that you are creating. It's okay to create, but what energy, what is your message? What is your message, Rod Wave? Is your message um, to, to because, because of what it is that you feel on the inside, what it is that you're going through on the inside, is your message to the children is to, to commit suicide? No, that shouldn't be the message. If you want to get your message out across and you want to let people know what it is that you deal with and, and what you're going through, that's fine. But what is your solution for what you're going through? What is your message? You know, um, a couple of months ago, I'm, I'm rambling, but a couple of months ago, um, I had a conversation with Tyrese spiritually. <laughs> don't judge me. Y'all don't judge me because I'm dead serious. Like it may sound like it's a, a joke, but it's not a joke. I actually do this. Um, but I had a, I had a, a spiritual conversation with Tyrese and it was like, okay, well, your girl, she may have hurt you. We understand that. But for you to take this 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 pain and for you to put it inside of your music and then you get mad when the energy returns onto you but you must understand your power like um i i, I brought it to his attention to go back to when you first started making it again if you are a music lover and you have listened to tyrese back in the day he is daddy like all of his music is it's about love you know it's a, it may be have some sexual content and okay that's fine but it's about the love that he wanted and he was calling that love unto him he was calling it to him and so he may have had a he, he got the girls and he got the a lot of women were after him and all of this this is because this is what you were calling in but the fact that you called this into you and you got it multiplied it, it made you seem as though you had many 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 options and you chose to explore your options instead of choosing one love to love for the rest of your life because you were looking for love you were calling in love but when that love started to come to you in different shapes, sizes, and form, you chose to dabble in all of it instead of choosing one. So in, in the midst of doing that, you may have gotten hurt. You may have fell in love with one, but you were still fucking two on the side. But the one that you love found out that you were fucking the two on the side and then she wanted to fuck. So now she's fucking outside of you and her. And then this hurt you. And so you were like, 
And you're like, fuck that. You're going to go to the other one or the other two, one out of the two. And you're going to try to make it work with her. And now you're trying to make it work with her. But you're not really ready for love. But so you're still fucking on the one that left you because you got the money and you're paying her. And she's that's what she's OK with. And then you got the other one on the side who all of this is a big fucking game. It's a big game. And so in the midst of all of this going on, the illusion of having options and, 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 and not paying attention to the things that you were manifesting because you manifest manifested love but you chose to ignore the love because of the many options that were presented to you and so um in the midst of this you may have gotten hurt you may have gotten hurt and then this may have made you feel like oh there is no love fuck love you know and so now your music when you make your music it's it's a, it's hateful it's downing women. It's, it's talking bad about women. And now that you're calling in these fucked up women, now you, you don't know what to do. And so I told my brethren, like, no, you have to continue to be who you was. If you want this, it's not the time for you to change your flow. It's time for you to stay the same. Keep, make more love music so that when you put it out in the universe, it can come back to you. Now that you're older, you can now notice when it's love. If it's love that you want, it's love that you give, and that's what you're going to get. So you continue to make this music, and you call that love in. And now that you got that love, you treat that love with respect and honor and loyalty, integrity. And this is going to ignite something inside of you to continue to make love music. To continue to spread love. You don't want to let the things that you've been into. That you chose to do. You you chose to have those options. You chose to hurt other women. And in doing so you end up. And in doing so, you ended up getting hurt. And so you can't be mad at nobody but yourself. And how do you fix that? You change something that is inside of you. You take that pain, you turn it into positivity, and then you push it out into the world to counteract all of the fucked up shit that may have happened or the fucked up shit that you may have done. It's all about transmuting. It's about transforming. It is about evolving. Hey, I'm not going to even lie to y'all today, family. I thought, because I didn't really write much on the topic, I kind of just wrote the topic and then I wrote what's here on the screen, like for you that like that's the only part that i wrote and so i didn't really think that the video was going to be that long but here i am we're at 30 i'm at my limit and i'm still going so kudos to me i just wanted to say that um but yeah to my people out there man Let's get this energy together. Let's get this energy together. Let's transmute this energy. Let's bring about a peaceful new earth. Um, Let's do it. Let's do it. Be mindful of your energy. Um, Y'all just be patient with me because I have a lot of creations that I haven't yet to, you know, I'm still getting ready. I'm I'm, I'm actually getting ready to push out a lot of my creations. Um, when it comes to my clothing, my designs, my t-shirts, uh, most of my, most of my things are spiritually based. Um, it is something that is, it is something that you just, you have to, go, you have to go within to be able to understand, um, the message in which I am, um, pushing out. But stay tuned. Oh, we I'm here for it. I want to thank you all for listening. Thank you all for tuning in to um, From Within Divine Feminine. If any of this message resonates with you, inspires you, if you have anything to say about anything that I have spoken about today, please drop it in the comment section. If you um, hit the like button on your way out subscribe for future messages i have a lot more messages coming in um i don't want to go over the time limit a little too much because uh yeah storage is something serious over here so um again thank you thank you thank you y'all turn this pain into positivity and then put that positivity into your creations into your inventions into your talents into your gifts and let's multiply it let's double up in my um nipsey voice it's time to double up on these um on our gifts on our talents on our income on our generational wealth let's do it um i'm sending you all peace love light understanding wisdom and knowledge peace (laughs) 